fishing freaks we went deep we went deep and hard yesterday welcome back to the channel everybody exploration this time of year we were dealing with uh, a lot of water changes went on an adventure yesterday with my buddy rob trying to uh, explore new water areas and really find some spring fishing spots we went far uh, traveled for hours in the boat uh, just running up the lake idling in my bass boat trying to find some areas and um, and we did they were just too cold still it wasn't warm enough for those fish to really start pushing up there yet today we have changing conditions but I'm going exploring again in the crispy so I'm gonna launch at another lake that I know I can get to the creek and it goes way 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 back there the fun part about that is any day from now until March fish are going to start moving up there white bass are gonna start spawning up there largemouth are gonna start moving up there shallow to feed the male bass you'll start seeing those like two pounders starting to feed up and I get so excited when that actually happens. I'm getting ready to leave to go to another country and fish and I'm trying to get in as much as I can right now. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, ladies and gentlemen. We are heading over to the Rackley Roost right now. I've got some fresh berries right here. Last video I made, we actually got the hens. I'm happy to report that one of them is already laying. So we've already collected four eggs, actually already ate three of them, they eat a lot and they love strawberries. Head on into the roost. Oh, my girls, my little cinnamon queen, red sex link chickens. Not really sure what species you are, but you're red and I know you're great egg layers. Yeah, ooh yeah, she wanted to get in there. So I made this little tray right here out of some just like garden mesh. Works like this, little trough. Get those good nutrients, get a little vitamin C for you. What do you think about the blackberries? Get in there. Get in there on them blackberries, girls. All right, girls, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go fishing. You keep doing your thing. Keep making them eggs. I'm gonna try to get some fish. Okay, y'all, we are making a deep journey into the unknown today. It is so windy. It just started raining. Why? Every time I go to film a fishing video, now it's just this. It's like I just have this it's just winter that's what it is got a crispy here on the shoreline we're gonna cut, try to keep everything dry today keeping it pretty simple not carrying a whole lot of gear the main thing is trying to get up this creek do the same thing I did yesterday just in a little boat some biscuit out here just looking at it on a map it looks easy but when I'm sitting here at water level I can't quite figure out where the mouth is so I'm just kind of putting around until I see what looks like it's gonna be a mouth of creek and I'm just gonna send it in this lake for many years. I never knew this kind of water even existed up here. A straight like river, river fishing, lay downs, flipping uh, for bass. This looks awesome. And I'm sure the white bass and all sorts of fish come up here and spawn. But right now it's just so muddy. Captain Morgan in it. Patrol motor is still working. Crispy is operating today. Look at this bank, y'all. Just steep. There's there's good laydowns. There's brush sticking out. I mean, honestly, the water right now is not too muddy to be able to catch them. Had a couple of warm days last couple of days, you know. I'm sure, it's not too cold. Like this is. We got an opportunity here. Spinnerbait is always a good river 
river bait. It's so much cover and you can almost fish it like a jig at times. You gotta work it down the sticks and lay downs. <clears throat> Just kind of like a kid in a candy store right now, even though I'm not catching anything. Thinking about summertime coming in here, throwing a frog up, skipping a frog up under these trees, twitching it. Bam! Losing my mind on these creek fish. I don't think they're up here yet. Come on, baby. Work. Oh, hey, wind. I can't win on this early bass game. Oh, man. I feel, I feel terrible. I feel like I can't catch a fish. Y'all ever feel like that? You ever feel like I cannot even catch a fish? I'm hitting all the choice laydowns. I'm up in the creek. But I should probably be out on the main lake fishing deep. I just have high hopes. I have high hopes for that shallow bite. go first fish came on the junior scout look how white that fish is y'all white bass fishing in the cold look at that little black spot on that tail that's really cool just a single black spot it's got a weird thing in its belly it's got a weird shape in its belly it definitely ate something big bigger crawfish something i don't know good sign good sign that fish came in about five feet of water and i've identified some fish along this bank i just i've used my graph for the last 30 minutes and just idled around and i found a little creek arm where i think these fish might be staging up that little you know one pound one and a half pound fish he's a little male bass starting to kind of cruise up there water temps 52.4 but there are some bigger bass. That is a giant plane, by the way. That's a, that's like a cargo, like a military cargo ship. C-130, I think they call those. Anyway, they're loud on camera. I'm hoping to catch a bass that big out here in the deeper part of this uh, little channel that has some, some cover on it. That's how I think I'm gonna catch them. 15 foot, there's another one right behind it. There's a couple of those fish I was looking at. There's another one right on the end of this point, looks like. Glued to the bottom. It's a pretty hard bottom here. It's clear. Oh, there's a piece of cover right there too. That is a brush pile. Oh, got him. Oh, we picked it up. Ah, oh, gosh. One of those bass just picked that up. Smoked my little uh, trench hog. Dang it. Spit it right back out. Golly, they don't want to bite. It's, I understand. <laughs> it's not the best conditions. Let's drop that little bug down there on a little quarter ounce. Smoked it, spit it right back out though. Bishop Ricks, it appears this, this rain right here isn't going anywhere it's just hitting hard i don't know how much more my body can take of this they don't like to eat they do not like to eat count my lucky stars and caught one Okay, girls. 
I'm back. I don't have any fish for you. But I do have some millworms. I got absolutely poured on y'all. One fish, absolutely poured, <laughs> poured on. I had hope. I had these fish found. I got a bite. I had a game plan. And I was out there an hour and a half, two hours. It just started pouring on me. So I'm done. I'm literally sitting under a rain tarp right now with my chickens. I actually just put this up because I didn't want them to get soaked. And I'm going to be leaving here very soon. And it's going to be raining, so I want to give them a nice dry place. And to be honest, it's kind of nice in here. It feels like I'm camping. <laughs> Are you curious? I need y'all to do me a favor. If I say I'm going to do any bass fishing in February in North Texas, uh, just tell me to hit the pause button and just go somewhere else or wait until March. So I have traveled miles up creeks with multiple boats and from what I've seen so far it is not happening up here and it's best to stay out in deeper water or close to deep water to get more bites. But I don't have to worry about it anymore y'all because I'm leaving for Mexico in just a few days. We got nasty cold weather here the rest of the week and I'm going to be in a sunny paradise of big bass here very soon. The last couple years I've gone down there early in the year and it is a great way to just kick start. You come back and it, I don't know, it just re-energizes me. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be down there with Guggen Squad so going to be some phenomenal videos coming out of Mexico very soon. So rest of the videos this week, not going to be fishing and then I head to Mexico but thank you guys for tuning in for the journey. Uh, you're with me through all of them, the good and the bad, the ugly and the beautiful. I'm going to sign it off right here, y'all. God bless you, and I'm wishing you many fishes. I'll see you on the next one.